I finally got glasses this weekend. I actually needed them for a long time. And I had glasses when I was a kid. But I never liked how they looked on me, so I never worn them. And that was maybe around 10 years ago, so I haven't worn any glasses since then. It was pretty bad at school because I couldn't read the board and it was hard to follow along. But I finally got them and I'm really happy with how they look. I wanted to quickly show you this. This is my first ever plant that I owned. I had it when it was still like maybe this big. It was still a baby cactus. And since then it has grown into this huge plant. And recently it got a baby. So I cut it off and I let it dry yesterday near the window. And earlier I just planted it in soil and it looks like this. It reminds me of when this huge plant was still this tiny and it's just so adorable, look. <laughs> These are the stickers that we cut yesterday. It was already late so I wanted to wait until it was day to show you how it turned out. These are actually inspired by my friend. I just drew everything that she likes. So she likes watermelons and her character is an angel so I combined the two of them and I got something like this. I like how the colors turned out. I actually didn't make any test print. I think the green turned out really well, like the texture, you can really see that it's a watermelon. I am gonna bake some Valentine cookies for my mom. It's actually been a while since I last baked something, so it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> one more sticker sheet that I want to finish for our upcoming shop date in March and this sticker sheet is also inspired by things that my friends like so this person really likes authors and when I was doing my research on what to draw I came across this information that authors hold each other's hand when they are sleeping and that is to prevent them from drifting apart and I just found that so adorable so I had to include it in my drawing and I also included seagulls in it because he doesn't like seagulls, but I think they match really well together. This one is my favorite. He's like chilling in the water. This is future Gary doing my voiceover. Future me already finished this drawing. And when I was drawing this, I actually wanted to make it a kind of a surprise for my friend. Not that it was a drawing for him, but I wanted to see his reaction when it was finished. But somehow he 
knew that I was drawing authors so I showed it to him and he found that I drew authors with ducks because those two are his favorite animals but it's actually a seagull and I was surprised that he didn't know it so I was just laughing on the inside and he discovered a few days later that it was actually a seagull and not a duck so he got really disappointed because seagulls are his least favorite animals or even more he dislikes seagulls because they are just so rude they steal food from people and they laugh like maniacs um, yeah I just found this funny and I want to share it for now let's go on to the next section and print these out I think I found my new favorite angle to film. The lighting is much better here and the background is much nicer. But I wanted to take this time to show you some stickers that Jenny made. Look at all these new stickers that Jenny made so far. These are some heart shaped leather stickers. They are in different colors and they have like tiny wings. And what I really appreciate this sticker sheet is that it goes from light to dark so you have a kind of gradient and she also made some boba stickers some bubble tea stickers these are also in many different colors uh, these are actually illustrative stickers she also made leather stickers of these but they are a bit more simple because then you can see the letters easily and this is the last leather stickers that she also made it's a sakura cherry theme so you have the flower the fruit and some leaves these are actually my favorite and these are two um, illustrative stickers. So these are mugs with cute patterns on it and these are donuts in all different colors. Mm. I reorganized my space behind me here because I had a little bit of too many plants and they all need sunlight so I moved some of them closer to the window and I reorganized some stuff so it's less messy I think it looks kinda sad now and calm and I love that vibe because I get inspired by it even though it sounds contradicting but it works for me also my mom cut my hair yesterday and I love how it turned out it makes it way more easier to curl my hair now and I love how it looks. For now I'm going to work on an interview about Etsy. Someone sent us a bunch of questions and like always doing something for the first time is quite challenging. I asked Jenny and a friend of mine to read my text because I have no idea how I'm writing it and I think it's always important to have people to read something or give you feedback if you have no clue about what you're doing and even if they don't have anything 
to say to improve it, you will know that you're on the right path. Mm, I don't know if that makes sense, actually.